Hi old folks, this is Max from GalaxyNexusRoot.com um, So I've got an updated review of the Apex um, ROM version 1.1.2 um, This is built off Android 4.0.4 um, Certainly this was one of my favorite ROMs and I'm so glad the new version is out and with the new version um, it's also available for all Galaxy Nexus um, the Maguro Toro Toro Plus uh, or the GSM uh, Verizon or Sprint you can get it all and uh, let's go look at the belt phone here Android 4.0.4 again it's based off the latest IMM76i um, let's go look at some of the features here um, so you get the Galaxy Nexus settings um, this is really cool if you want to charge your phone fast on USB you know how it's kind of slow when you connect it to the USB. What this will do is disable the USB media, um, the disk drive thing, and basically charge your phone faster. Just do that and connect to uh, my computer. And now um, it's charging, all that power is just charging instead of doing all that other stuff. Um, so this is really cool. And uh, with some other ROMs, you get this too, like AOKP, but you have to reboot. Um, but this one you can just do that and then now it will connect as a regular media device there's it there you go so that's really cool um, and uh, multiple colors tuning this is really cool because now you can kind of get a different colors if you want um, you can mess with these things here um, so if for some reason your your um, screen kind of goes off later you can adjust this or you can adjust it to your liking um, that's really cool and then you can go to color hack presets here and these are actually um, presets that many other people use um, you know if you want to get the retro look and uh, like a, a vintage look you can do that that's kind of cool right uh, but I'm gonna go back to normal here default here that's really cool and it does come with um, its own customization settings um, which is kind of a uh, this ROM is like a mix of everything like you know AOKP um, built off CM9 so you get all the CM9 stuff uh, customization CPU performance you can overclock it to 1.35 gigahertz um, you can try a uh, another kernel like Franco kernel or whatever um, if you want but this one comes uh, lean kernel I like to put it on interactive X that's how what I recommend 1.35 gigahertz um, set it at Pi boot so it always stays the same. Free memory, I suggest you to put it at 100 and set that at boot too. Um, that will free up memory much quicker, make your run uh, phone run faster. Automatic backlight. Um, this is like if sometimes you know your phone it, it looks dimmer on the auto thing, then you can um, use this menu to kind of uh, make it adjust it to your liking device rotation settings um, you can set it all on that way you can view it in all angles um, 180 is not enabled by default but I like to enable everything I'm like why would I not want to use that um, notification power widgets um, let me see here widget button order um, so you can choose all these buttons I guess which is pretty cool and those are the buttons up here um, and uh, uh, what is it all this stuff um, custom carrier text so I've got um, Zero Max on here but I don't have my sim card inserted for, um, and uh, navigation bar um, trebuchet um, lock screen navigation bar all this stuff you can do um, but most importantly this will give you better battery life and performance and it's one of the best ROMs I would say this one and the other ROM I posted um, which one was that? Uh -oh. that one is uh, AOKP yes this one and AOKP I think are the best ROMs for Galaxy Nexus um, so check it out I love this ROM highly recommend it um, if you're this is the first time you're installing a custom ROM definitely check out the Apex ROM and the AOKP ROM um, available for all three to, fly, to install this 
um, download the appropriate ROM zip file for the Apex. It'll be either for GSM, which is what I have, or Verizon or Sprint. Um, download that and also download Google Apps. Um, so you got the ROM file, the Google Apps, uh, and then go into uh, Clockwork Mario Recovery, do a wipe, install the ROM, install the Google Apps, and reboot, and you should be on your way. And uh, I guess that's it. Um, oh, let me show you the uh, boot up animation. This is really cool. For those of you who haven't seen it. So I really like this ROM. Um, pretty cool. And also for LTE versions, there's, there's an LTE toggle. And for Sprint versions, there's WiMAX toggle. So you can save battery um, by using that toggle. Um, so that's good. And that's the boot up animation. This looks pretty cool. I think this is like one of the coolest boot up animations of all the ROMs. I freaking love it. Bunch of androids, blue androids. Just, what are they doing? Uh, anyway, that was a review of the Apex ICS ROM, now available for all variants of Galaxy Nexus. Highly recommend it. Um, and uh, if you have a Galaxy Nexus, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynexusroot.com where we update you once or twice a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And it's a great way for me to communicate with you to me. And I don't share your email with anyone else but my dog. Um, I'm trying to teach her how to... Um, how to poo and pee, and uh, it's not working out so so well. If you have any good suggestions for a Yorkie, um, ter Yorkshire Terrier, um, don't forget to let me know. She's actually over there, you can see. I'm just waiting for her to um, poop before she comes in, but it's been like an hour, and I don't know why she's not going. Um, anyway, my personal problems. Uh, stay high on Android, folks, and if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me, and uh, subscribe button up here it helps me greatly as this is what I do for a living and uh, thanks you guys again if you have and share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus there's a button there and uh, thanks again and uh, stay high on Android folks and uh, um, I guess that's it and uh, oh yeah don't be an eye or duh <laughs>